EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the state of Florida and TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Jacksonville. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Jaguars take over first and 10 at their own 13-yard line. Hey, run! Reload! And they'll start on the ground, ETN. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. On second down, ETN once more. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Four yards to pick up, first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out that heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Well, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Hey, go, go! Go, go! Play action. It's Lawrence. They'll get this one complete to Zane Jones. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. On first and 10, it's ETN. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Now it's second and 10. They go play action now. Lawrence. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Play action is supposed to be used to slow down pressure, slow down blitzes. In this case, though, if it takes a little too long to develop, you got people right in your face. And lucky just to get rid of the ball with the arm going forward. Could have been a fumble. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Looking to throw, Lawrence. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Isaiah Rogers. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And they'll send the slot in motion left. A first down carry. Foyasade Aluakon made the tackle there from his safety position. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 29, here's the second and five. Throwing his hurts. Leaves it for Penny. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And it brings up third and five now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Here's Hurts to throw. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And this is up and good. The score now 7 nothing Jaguars. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. 
They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over in the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. Looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. First carry for DeAndre Swift. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. First down and they go with Swift again. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28 yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football all comes about organically. It's a natural deal based on reads. In college, if you're going to throw the football for a triple option, you've actually called that play. Now second and nine. Hurts. He's going to get that to Swift underneath. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 15-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. One first down, Hurts. And he'll get this into the hands of Swift once again. And the Eagles are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. So first and goal and a chance to make amends for the earlier pick six. Penny. Going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. It is definitely hard to find space near the goal line. You always want to have a guy in the game running it who can create his own. Second and goal from the one. Swift will take this one in for an Eagles touchdown. Sometimes offensive can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. Elliott Good with a PAT, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. 
They had the interception last drive, led to the tying touchdown, so 7-7 the score as they begin first and 10. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Man open, here is Jones. 23 yards the pick up there. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Now Lawrence. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one good for 26 and a first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Rip, 23. On first down, Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram. And yeah, he'll be on just a yard or two, shy of the 30. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 13 yards and another first. Hey, hey. Now this is ETN on the draw. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, this is a half where not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now Lawrence. And that one to the right side and incomplete. That's a good job there creating the contact to force the incompletion. And now since it's fourth down, that should set up a field goal situation. And a nice sigh of relief defensively to be able to hold them to three. And they'll try and throw for it with Lawrence. And it's going to be batted down. And we'll go the other way with the football. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And the Eagles defense able to hold. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll drop to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to draw that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. He's got his target. That's complete. Well, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. 
That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. They'll try and run for it with Penny. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on it's the field goal unit to see about getting three points. The kick by Elliott is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. A good, tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game, and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. 10 yards there and an eagle first down. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, They've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one goes for 24 yards. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up the block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. On second down, here's Penny. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he fires one, but incomplete. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. It hurts not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Inside the 10. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. Wow, 
first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. What an excellent end result for them. But let's go back to the decision, first of all, to go for it all on fourth down. A lot of pressure on the quarterback's shoulders, but they knew he could handle it. Makes the right read there, gets the ball to his receiver. They get the first down. It's now first and goal. Here's Swift. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown of the night. And the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Elliott on for the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially. But you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that leads into bigger errors. Straight ahead, ETN. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Lawrence. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 19 yards there on the catch and run. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. From the gun, it's Lawrence. He'll drop that underneath to ETN. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here we go. Got to have it. Lawrence. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they get it rather easily there. A gain of nine on fourth and three. Here's Lawrence to throw. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Zay Jones, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Jaguars have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. McManus now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game.
after the touchdown. Here's McManus now to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts as early as opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Here's a second and five. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount. He got it done. Nursing that slim lead. You're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. They'll try and run here with Swift. Oh, he is going nowhere as he is in the this offense two for two converting on these thus far, so why not try again here on fourth down? They'll go for it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Look at the big man rumble. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Dallas Goddard, 61 yards. And the Eagles use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Oh, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone, but from your tight end? Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill, a Devontae Adams, and Antonio Brown. You're not talking about a guy that lines up or can line up in line and look like an extra tackle on running plays. He took that bad boy downfield just like he was a scat back. Before the game, he told me, I'm going to have a zinger or two today. And I was like, oh, a zinger or two? I guess that's a zinger, right? That's a zinger. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. This is first and 10. Here's Lawrence. Able to find Jones. And he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Back to throw, Lawrence. And his throw is incomplete. This offense has had its troubles moving the ball all night. So now you get in this situation, hard to imagine that suddenly they're going to start clicking and moving the ball downfield. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they've got to go and get it right here, right now. This definitely four-down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Open man is Kirk, complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. 
Lawrence. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens in bounds. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. They absolutely had to take some chances downfield trailing here in the fourth quarter. So why not go four verticals, send the guys downfield, say hey, make right. a play? And that's one of the favored routes of offensive coordinators. You know why? Because receivers can be open at any point running that route. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. They'll come up now. This is second and long. Throwing now, Lawrence looking in zone for Jones. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Just a difficult situation to be in here in the final minute. Down two scores. You know you need some providence from somewhere. They're going to keep firing away till the end, but this one falls incomplete. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Justin Evans. And the Eagles are going to get the football back at their own 17. Well, we knew this was going to be a tall order anyway, down two scores with this little time remaining, but that interception puts an end to any hopes that they had. All right, partner, work with me here because Obviously, scoring a touchdown, getting the onside kick, then going down, scoring again. Well, that's asking a lot, isn't it? And that's really not a great expectation to begin with. I think they'll look back on this game and see what got them in this spot in the first place and say to themselves, we really gave this game away. And for the visitors, it is going to be a happy flight home. It is always such a treat, Charles, in the NFL when you can go on the road and get a victory, and that's exactly what they accomplished here today. Ah, oh, the trip home so much sweeter, isn't it? All the noise they heard before, how tough it is to win on the road, how tough it is.